I'm Caitlin Heffler. I'm Jane Saylor. And this is Bama Network. What's Nate Oaks the right hire for this Alabama basketball program? Well, if you're asking me, absolutely. And if he's not the right hire, then I don't think it's possible for us to have success here at Alabama with basketball. What do you think? In my opinion, I think that Oaks is a great hire for our program. Obviously, we need to rebuild our team. We're not going to you know, be the best right off the bat, just hire a new coach. However, I think that we have a lot that we need to work on especially after these past few games and a lot of mistakes that have continued to happen. Yeah, and Oates himself has taken responsibility and blamed the coaching staff just as much as the players, which we've seen other coaches just put the blame on the players, so I respect him for stepping up and taking that responsibility. But it goes back to what everyone has said all season. This is his first year in Alabama. He's had to deal with multiple injuries, Javon clearly not being eligible, Pretty much our roster is dwindling. We now have John Petty out with injuries, still have Herb Jones playing with one hand. These things have to factor in, as well as the fact that he hasn't got the chance to recruit his own players in yet. I do think that it also has taken the team a long time to get used to each other and really get in flow with one another. In I think to that style to, play. Yeah, I agree. I think that it's taken us a long time to get there, but now that we are finally there, it seems like we are kind of going down in a slump with injuries and just with our game flow in general. Um, so let's touch on last week's games. Well, like you say, we're going down in a slump, and one player that sticks out to me going down in a slump is Alex Reese. He, we saw yeah. major improvement from him in the first beginning middle of the season, and now all of a sudden it's major digression once again. And if he's not hitting shots, he's almost not useless, but he's really not – what we need for a big man on the court. I don't think we have very many big men that are able to play this style of basketball. At one point in this season, I considered him the best, if not one of the best players on our team. And now to see how he's performing right now, I cannot say that I see see the same player at all. It's just like you're saying. But it goes back to things we've seen in the past, and I feel like we had gotten away from that. And we were progressing every single game and each player was developing under Oates. And now to see that digression is pretty concerning. I agree. I think Ole Miss, great game. Really solid game on all sides of the ball. Yeah. But then the Mississippi State game, that was just the complete opposite. A lot of turnovers. Um, Like you said, Petty had an injury. It's still very unclear about yeah, no what the injury that. is. I'm um, still waiting on that. Herb Jones fouling out also probably had a lot to do with it, but there were too many mistakes in that game, period, for that to even matter, really. So what's next for this Alabama basketball team? In my opinion, I don't think that they will be – their chances are looking too great making the tournament, but I am still hopeful that they will make the NIT tournament. Well, the NIT I do think we can make, but the NCAA tournament, I think those hopes have pretty much just gone away. Yeah. But how does that affect this team and Nate Oates moving forward? If we do miss the tournament, we have a huge target right now, Josh Primo. Alabama seems to be the front runner, but Creighton is a close second, according to the crystal ball predictions. So how does that affect his recruitment if Alabama misses the NCAA tournament and Creighton is in? And then... How does a basketball program rebuild if that is the case? If you miss the NCAA tournament because you don't have enough players, you can't recruit your own guys in, and then they choose not to come here because you aren't having success, how how well Nate Oates build this well, program? In my opinion, I think that a player should look, of course, if they're going to make a tournament or not, that will affect their judgment and whether or not they choose this school. Mm -hmm. However, I think that they should look at the changes that have been made this season. New coach, a lot of great players and players that will develop even better next year. So I think that they will definitely key into that and factor that into their decision. However, yeah, I think that the tournament is definitely not making it is going to affect their decisions for sure. This Saturday, the Tide plays against 
South Carolina and Coleman Coliseum. A vital game for both teams to win, so we'll see how you come out to play. Yeah, get out and support if you're in Tuscaloosa or near. Make sure you make it. We only have two home games left, so don't want to miss out. Thanks for watching. For more Bama sports videos, you can head over to our YouTube page, and on the playlist section, you can choose which sports videos you would like to watch. You can also follow Bama Network on Twitter and Instagram. It's always linked down below, as well as our personal Twitters.